Hi, welcome to Common Knowledge. I'm Rachel Zagaroli, and today we want to talk about all of our active sports that we have coming up this summer. With me is Tori Hagland. Tori is one of our recreation programs, and welcome. Thank you, Rachel. Nice to be here today. Good, and you are really doing good on these uh, active sports, and oh, we're so excited about it. It's been fun. We've gotten a, a real great response. Well, today we're going to talk about four sports, and maybe a few more when we need to add into it if we, if we have the time to do that. But first of all, I'd like to talk about our little, our very awesome sports league that you started last year. And you had how many last year? You must be talking about softball. Yes. Um, we originally had a meeting and we had like 10 ball players show up and I didn't know that would be enough to go, but they're dedicated and um, we played scrimmages and we're taking the next step forward this year with the league. That is so awesome. What's the name of the league? The league is Kensington Valley Senior League. Um, mm -hmm. They voted on the league name. Um, we're joining with communities like Northville, Brighton, um, Howell, who are going through the same similar um, situation where there's ball players that want to play. They've either been playing mm -hmm. and now they have um, time available during the day or they've hung up their spikes for a couple of years <laughs> and really want to get back to the sport. Right. I, I, it's just so awesome because last year they were so excited and you gave me that team picture and I still have it up in the office because yes. I thought it was so, so great. The age limit. It's 55 years old and older. Mm -hmm. um, if there's enough people, it's been advertised that we'd put together a team for 62 plus. Okay. I do have women calling me, so the ladies are definitely invited. Would they play co-ed or would they have their if own If we league? had enough, we'd form a women's team. Okay. Um, but just to let them know, uh, last year there were a couple of ladies that played with the Heartland team that we scrimmaged against. Okay. So we would work them on, into, onto a team and um, there are modifications in the sport. Um, for the older adult and we'd look specifically at the rules if we added women as well. Okay, so we it's open. Yes, we can have it absolutely. For, for just about anybody. Registrations now? Yes, they're ongoing. And when does that end? Um, the registration is scheduled to end um, March 30th. I think we'd add a, a late fee. We want to encourage people to register. Mm -hmm. um, softball is a really big registration, especially at Power Park um, in the city of Novi, which is such a beautiful field. So usually you have your teams registering by the end of okay. March. But we will continue right. through April if there's an interest. Well, I'm excited about it. I hope we get enough people. Um, cost? Um, cost is $45, $45 for a resident. Mm -hmm. um, if they register online, which some of them have already done so, that's $40. We do pull um, ball players from the surrounding areas. Okay. So, um, and non-residents, $55? Yes, $55, okay. $50 online. That's not a whole lot of money to play not Softball at all. No, they'll the get 12 summer. games. Um, mm -hmm. Six of the games will be home games, so of course we'll be playing at Power Park Fields. That's a wonderful park. It's it's absolutely a beautiful park that okay. um, attracts national tournaments. So it's a wonderful place to be, and then we'll get the chance to go to Howell or Heartland or Brighton or Northville, where um, mm -hmm. ever the other teams register. We're so what do they the get league. for their money? They get the 12 games. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, that in, that includes balls. They will be paying for the umpire. Um, when they show up, just like the other teams do in Novi, um, there will be a season-ending tournament. Um, and it looks like we have a sponsor here in, in Novi, so we'll be getting t-shirts. Oh, that's um, just, that's absolutely awesome. Now, how many home games? Six home games. And those are at Power Park. Yes, and 12 games total. Mm -hmm. um, we will be playing by the Amateur Softball Association rules. I was just going to ask you that. Are there certain rules? Are there, because you know I'm not really good with the sports. <laughs> Yes, there are certain <laughs> rules. Um, we'll be following. We'll have ASA registered umpires. Um, we will have a strike mat, which is some um, something different. Um, some leagues play with that, some don't. But instead okay. of an uh, umpire calling balls and strikes, it'll be um, a mat behind the plate, and then you'll call it according to if the ball hits the mat. Okay. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. League orientation. We're going to have an orientation for the for the softball people, yes, right? I believe it's right there. It's Thursday. Tuesday, May. Tuesday, May 1st. May 1st. At 10 a.m. at the Senior yes, Center. Yes, at the Senior Center. Last year okay. we had a team show up and we were good to go. And they scrimmaged last year and this year we really believe we're going to have at least enough interest for two teams okay. joining into a league. And there are so many benefits of, oh, so of playing softball, of um, doing anything, any, any sports league, but especially an active sports league. Yeah, the, benefits and, um, are the guys that um, have been participating this year have just been so thankful for the opportunity to get the, out there. And as you know, with a lot of our programs, we respond directly to what the participants want. So we have a meeting at that meeting. They decided on what time they want to play, what day they want to play, what works for them, how far they want to travel. And they're just so thankful and, and mm -hmm. they're ready to play ball. Well, I think, too, it brings together a group of people and they share a lot of interests together. But yet the physical fitness, yes, you know, it keeps them strong, keeps them healthy, makes sure that everything is working good. So 
I think that's great. And the rules are definitely modified to look out for their safety so we prevent um, the possibility of mm -hmm. contact or collisions. We're, collisions. we're looking out for them. <laughs> Did we have any injuries last year? <laughs> um, well, we had a couple of pulled muscles. That's just going to happen. <laughs> now, they travel. They actually travel. Do they take their own cars? Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. yep. Do they usually go as a group or...? Um, they coordinate it. Um, some do, some don't. It's where you're coming from and what your schedule was beforehand, but they all show up and they show up early and um, they've got the coolers with the water and we take care of them in every way we can. I think that's just absolutely awesome. I think it's great and and it's it builds uh, team team building for, for everybody and, and I just think that it gives people more to do, especially if you've done this in your younger younger years and you think, oh, I can't do this anymore, but but you can. Oh, they can. And and they're determined to do it. And the wives come out and they, I've seen the grandchildren out there <laughs> and the grandchildren umpiring. It's 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 wonderful. It's America's pastime. So right. it's so enjoyable. So they need to get those registrations in. Yes. So that they're going to be able yep. to play and they need to be able to take care of that. Absolutely. People have already registered, um, but you definitely want to get your registration in through the months of February or March. Well, that's great. Well, we've talked about the softball league, and when we come back, we're going to talk about a few other things that are coming up. And you don't want to miss them. You want to get your registrations in. So stay tuned, and we'll give you all the details of the new things coming up. Maybe you see something suspicious. Can you be sure? If you see something, say something to local authorities. Hi, welcome back to Common Knowledge. Today's show, we're talking about all the wonderful active sports that we have here in Nova, and we talked a lot about softball, our softball league, so you need to sign up for those. But with me is Tori Heglin, and Tori, let's talk a little bit about a golf now. Yes, golf is a league that you know has been established oh, for many, many yes. years, and you're a golfer, so you have a yes. deep appreciation for that. But what's wonderful for me is I stepped into a program that was already highly established, and um, it's just a wonderful program to work with. And, right, um, and we have three leagues. We have three leagues, men's on Monday, women's on Wednesday, mixed on Thursday. So we have it all through the week. Yes, all through the week. Which is great. Absolutely. It's no. at Riverbank Golf Course, mm -hmm. which is on 130 acres in South Lyon in the country. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a par four 18 hole golf course, about right. six I've miles from the heart of Novi. And it's nice, and they're so nice out there. They're wonderful, yeah. and, and they're accommodating for the seniors. So and our golfers have just loved it out there. They've, they've always, always enjoyed doing that. So they sign up where? Um, at the Novi Senior Center or the Novi Civic Center. Okay. We do pull people from the surrounding areas. Um, we kind of have a niche here with the golf right. league. It's a very organized league, and we have a banquet and a fun day at the end, which happens in September. So play starts in okay. May and goes all the way through August um, with the finale in September. So registration is now, so they yes. need to get those registered. And there's a whole list of uh, resident, non-resident, if you're a member, a non-member, so they need to come in and really look right. that over there's to make sure. Right, there's different fees. And to make sure that they do that. And if they once they pay for one league, they can pay for the second league at a, a lower at a discount, price. Absolutely. That's which, an additional yeah, league fee. And that so works out really good. Double paying for certain things. How is how is it played? Again. Is it like uh, um, it's a two member, so you mm -hmm. have a partner, you determine your own partner, or you can go in and, and we'll match you up. Um, and then it's a round robin tournament, a round okay. robin schedule. They just have so much. I, I always want to sneak out of work on that day and oh. go go golf a few holes and see what I can do, but I think I'd get in trouble for that. Um, orientation. We have an orientation for that, yes, and that's Tuesday, April 17th. April 17th at 10 o'clock at the Novi Senior Center. Now, that's an orientation meeting where we usually have almost 100 people there. Right. Very interested in getting the kickoff Go to the, the rules, golf course. Yep. Um, any rules, any um, adjustments. Um, the golf course is very accommodating, and we are as well as far as um, any suggestions that are made. If we can incorporate them into the season, we do that. It's important to know that reg registration ends uh, April 9th. Yeah, now that's a deadline that's a pretty hard, fast deadline. Yes. Um, there'll be a late fee after that, mm -hmm. and it's sometimes we just can't accommodate people after that point. Which is good, um, because we have to get the teams all set and get everybody into that. But again, golf is one of those sports where it's a wonderful sport to be out in, in outside. Um, companionship again, uh, oh, yeah. that sense of, of good living. and. And it's really good, and it's you can swing as hard as you want, or you don't have to swing very hard. You get to ride you can take a, cart, a cart. You, you can, can walk either <clears throat> way, so it's pretty good. So, so don't forget, you need to sign up soon for that golf because these, these, all of these. This uh, is the that we're talking sport, about, and we right. do pull from the surrounding area. Right. 
Well, let's talk a little bit about the new event that you're having, and this one's coming up very quickly. So if they're going to do it, they have to sign up for now, snowshoeing. Oh, snowshoeing. Yeah. Um, absolutely. And the uh, wonderful news is we can't wait to get out in the Michigan winter wonderland. Mm -hmm. But the good news is, is if there's not snow, um, we will be hiking. So um, we'll meet on Wednesday, February 15th at 10 o'clock okay. at the Kensington Farm Center. And um, we'll, be, we'll have an interpretive guide with us. We'll be along the trails of the Huron Valley in Kensington. There'll be mm -hmm. hot chocolate and a snack. Um, nice. But the good news is, is um, we'll also take advantage of the Farm Center with the interpretive guide. And if we don't happen to have snow, um, all the participants get a free coupon for snowshoeing. Oh, that's great. At any time, no ex expiration date for an entire day. Well, and I think it's also nice to know that this can include your family, your grandchildren, your, your children, to yes. make it kind of a family event. It's intergenerational. Um, we'd mm -hmm. love to see the parents out there with their adult children, um, as well as their preschool grandchildren. Mm -hmm. um, snowshoes are going to be a question, so the snowshoes <sighs> do definitely fit anyone from a three-year-old on up. Oh, that's, that's um, good. So they're all adjustable. Now, registration ends February 13th. Yes, it does. On that, so, we do need to So stay we really need to hurry deadline. on that one if anybody wants to join that. Cost? Cost is $14. $14. Plus a $5 entry fee for Kensington. Yes, you will need to get into the park. It's a beautiful park. Um, it's nice to see it at a different season to bring your grandchildren out and get that educational experience of seeing mm -hmm. um, the, our, our natural surroundings and that's at a different a time of year. And that's such a beautiful park. It is. It's, right. I, it's the park I go to mm -hmm. any chance I get. Great. So. Well, good. That's a, Hopefully we get some people for that one. And then bocce ball. Bocce ball. Um, bocce I just ball. love to say bocce ball. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. Um, it's pretty exciting. I am talking to Bravo. Cucciano Italianos, it's a restaurant right. that has one bocce ball court. Um, we had a, a diehard group of individuals last year that were dedicated to bocce ball. This mm -hmm. year, as with softball, we want to take it a step further and have a league so you mm -hmm. have scheduled matches. Um, Meadowbrook Commons, we moved around on location a little bit, but we've come back to Meadowbrook Commons. It's such a wonderful place to be. It is. And it's a captive audience. And, and the neighborhood surrounding. We've got seniors that bike to bocce ball or okay. walk to bocce ball. Um, but we'll have a schedule where most of their games or matches will be at mm -hmm. uh, Meadowbrook Commons, but we'll also have like one scheduled match at the restaurant. Now, so that would be fun. Yes. We're, that would be a lot and, of fun. And uh, the seniors have reported to me that their food is very, very, very good there. It is. So. I've been there. <laughs> I can vouch for that. Now, I know that the uh, there's an informative meeting April yes. 19th at yes. 1 o'clock at the Senior Center. And that will definitely be an interactive mm -hmm. meeting where we're looking for the seniors' feedback. Mm -hmm. So right now we're scheduled to play on Tuesdays at 10 o'clock in the okay. morning. Um, but we'll adjust as needed. I'm still in discussion with the restaurant, um, talking to Sal, the general manager, and okay. Drummond, the chef. They've been real supportive of this idea. Okay. Um, so as well as playing there, we'll probably looking at having a season-ending banquet kind of um, at the restaurant. And it begins Tuesday, May 22nd, runs all summer long. It runs for six weeks. Right. Plus and it's tournament. nice to know this year, I mean, we had a nice group out there oh, yes. last year, but this year we're also going to put a tent up. Yeah, we need and a little some shade shelter, covering. so we have some shelter. We noticed with the tenth anniversary, there were a lot mm -hmm. of seniors that just like to hang out, like you said, right. and enjoy the sunshine and and be out there. So we might have croquet set up and some other things as well. So just a nice day, absolutely nice day at the senior center to get outside. <laughs> Cost twenty dollars, um, twenty dollars for a yeah. resident and twenty two dollars for non resident. Yep, definitely. So not too much for a whole summer full no. of fun. But registration ends May. May. 11th? Yeah, and mm -hmm. we, we, we'd like to see the registration come in before that. We'll probably be uh, um, accommodating after that time. But we, if we want to have a scheduled program and people knowing who they're going to play, we definitely uh, encourage people to sign up by that deadline. That's great. We have so many things, and I know you've got canoeing, you've got hiking, you've got paddle boarding coming yes. up, you know, all these active sports for our older adults that I think is just going to be phenomenal. So. And I think you'll see more information on that in the summer brochure. Yes, Definitely for a canoe sure. trip, so. another intergenerational nature walk, um, a chance for the grandparents to be with their grandchildren outside, and we'll probably do something with bringing a guy to Lakeshore Park or something mm -hmm. where we can um, really enjoy and take Great. advantage and respect and appreciate our parks in Novi. Thank you, Tori. Thank All you. All this good information. As you can see, we have so many things, so many active sports. We have passive sports. We have just about anything anybody would want. So make sure that you come in, sign up for one of these programs at the Novi Senior Center or the Civic Center. The information's online. It's an engage. It's an enhance. We have flyers. So there's no way that you can't know about what we're doing. So come on and join us for everything that we do at the Novi Senior Center. So thanks for watching Common Knowledge, and we'll see you soon.
また野場医師はミシガン州の健康スポーツの知事審議会プロモーティングアクティブコミュニケーションアワードで連続して金賞を獲得しています250マイルを超える散策路や歩道を楽しんでくださいルートマップはエンゲージマガジン市のホームページに掲載してありますのでぜひご確認を Hi, welcome to Common Knowledge Update. I'm Rachel Zagaroli. We're located at the Novi Senior Center, which is 25075 Meadowbrook Road. Every month we do a monthly calendar, so make sure you stop in and pick it up or go online to the cityofnovi.org. All of our information is on there. We have so much to do at the Novi Senior Center. Make sure you check out all the programs and the events that work best for you. During the winter months, we tend to get a little lazy in our physical fitness, so join one of our many, many fitness classes that we have going on now. All levels for all people. We have stretch and strength, keep on moving, balance class, Zumba Gold, and line dance. One of those classes will work out just great for you. Just stop in the Senior Center or go to the Civic Center to register. Then after all that exercising, make an appointment with our awesome masseuse. Pam Kerr. Pam offers an hour and a half hour appointments and they are so wonderful. Staying with our fitness classes, did you know there, that we're also offering a few of our sports leagues? Our golf registration is going on now and we have three leagues, a men, a women, and a mix. The league plays out at Riverbank Golf Course in the mornings and they have a great time. If you would like to golf, don't miss up signing up because it goes really quickly. Check out the times and the cost either online in Engage or Enhance or one of the flyers that we have at the Senior Center or the Civic Center. Sign up at either place. Don't forget coming up soon to snowshoeing. Uh, the adventure at Kensington Park, it's on February 15th, so get that information soon and sign up. Great for intergenerational, bring the grandkids. Lots of fun things. Register now for our Novi Over 55 Softball League. We started this last year and the response has been great. If you love to play and you'd like to sign up, please do so soon. Player fee will include 12 games plus a season ending tournament, t shirts, and all the field cost. All the home games will be played at Power Park and we will travel to Heartland, Northville, and Howell. For more information, again, please call the Senior Center at 248 347 0414. Bocce ball is also a new fun sport that is easy to play and a great exercise and a new way to meet new people and be outside. Bocce ball begins May 22nd, but you must sign up now. Many of you have already been in contact with us for one type of social service or another. Social services are very important to our community, but for those of you that haven't, and if you are in need of medical equipment such as a cane, a walker, a wheelchair, it, and depends, any type of medical things and other things, please give us a call to borrow from the loan closet. People utilize this program daily, so don't hesitate to call, either for yourself or someone that you may know. We want to make sure that you're aware of the food commodity programs offered here at the Senior Center. If you're having a difficult time, and many of us are at this time, or making ends meet, need maybe a little bit of assistance with food, please call, fill out the application, and if you meet the requirements, we will be able to help you through the month with some food. Don't forget to come in and have your hearing exam. Make sure you are able to hear correctly and don't miss anything. We also have hearing aid cleaning once a month and remember, you must make that appointment for the hearing test, but not for the cleaning. It's so important to have your blood pressure checked weekly to keep it at the level your doctor feels it should be. Every Wednesday from 11 to 12, you can get it checked and we keep it on file for you so that you know where it is, what it is, and what the level is. Social media is becoming one of the best attended classes that we have. Join one of the many computer classes, learn how to uh, email, keyboard, use the internet, or take a class on Skype, ebook, Facebook, eBay, iPhones, iPads. A great way to stay in touch with family and friends and expand your horizon. There's so many things that you can do with that. Income tax appointments are filling up quickly, so if you need your taxes done, you need to call right away because they fill up so quickly. AARP will be here to volunteer their time and they fill that up fast. We have so many special events coming up that will keep you busy. Tickets are on sale, but don't wait because many times you miss out on that. 
Bring family and friends, anyone you can think of, just to have a good time. Valentine's party is on February 14th at noon. Nifty's 50 on Saturday, February 24th at 4 p.m. with an Elvis impersonator. That ought to be a really good time. St. Patty's Day on March 16th at noon, south of the border on Saturday, March 24th at 4. Opening day, April 5th at noon, and Derby Day is on Saturday, May 5th at 4 o'clock. Don't forget, transportation is available to all Novi residents 55 and older. Please call 248-735-5617 to make an appointment to go anywhere within the city limits or a 10-mile radius outside the city for medical appointments only. A great, secure, and door-to-door -door service just for you. The Novi Senior Center also serves lunch daily, a great way to meet new friends and have a good, nutritious meal. Call 248 347-0489 for a reservation. And if you are homebound, please don't hesitate to call 1-888-886-8971. And if you meet the requirements, you'll get a good nutritious meal brought right to your home. And it's a nice way to have some, comp some companionship also. As you can see, there are so many wonderful programs and events that are here waiting for you to join. Stop in, register now for any of the programs here at the Novi Senior Center. Thanks.